Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the June 2024 intro pages in my A5 reading journal from Archer and Olive. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Here we are in my A5 reading journal. I'm going to be using these orange scraps of paper from an Archer and Olive notepad. I'll be using this stamp set that I got from Amazon. This stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. These stamps from My Favorite Things. And these letter stamps from Carrie Bradford Studios. I'm going to be pairing that with these three different Distressed Oxides as well as my black VersaFine ink. So for the first half of the year, I've been kind of sticking with a similar theme for the intro pages for each month in my A5 reading journal. I've been doing a different colored paper from this pastel notepad from Archer and Olive. And for June, that's gonna be orange, which I think is perfect because we're heading into summertime and orange to me, especially in this shade is summery. I'm going in with those letter stamps from Carrie Bradford Studios to put in the June and then the TBR. I definitely wished I would have stamped out TBR a little bit better. I kind of lined everything up on one line, but the B should have actually been a bit lower. And I think because it's not, it looks a little funky, but that's okay. Then I went in with a splatter stamp using some blue distressed oxide. I'm going in with this more abstract stamp with pink and then the last stamp that I'm using for the kind of deco on these two pages is a smaller paint splatter stamp and I also used orange there. It's darker than the orange of the notepad paper that I use so I, I like the like monochromatic vibe of that and then I did pull in a few different washi tapes which I forgot to show at the beginning when I was sharing all the products that I'm using so I put one of them above the TBR on the left to make it look like that sheet of orange paper is being held down by the washi tape and then added it a little bit into the deco on the actual cover page for June and then once I did that I'm going over to the monthly spread which I have already mostly put together I trimmed off the edges and then I'm going in with these letter stamps once again to stamp in June and I wanted to make sure some of the letters were on the orange paper and then some weren't which I fortunately spaced out correctly for the month of June which was good and then I do want to add in a little bit of deco so we're going in first with that larger paint splatter stamp and then going in with this more abstract stamp which I ended up putting down twice and then the last thing is going to be the smaller paint splatter stamp with the orange distressed oxide. I did want to add in a couple small pieces of washi to this little deco area which I do think looks pretty cute and then the last thing we're going to do to finish off these intro pages is put in the lines to border each page using a micron in 08. If you've been watching my videos, then you'll know that I absolutely love doing this. I think it finishes off the page really, really well. The only thing that I actually forgot to do when I was putting this together was to add a key into my monthly spread. So I did do that uh, after I filmed this video, 
unfortunate that I forgot to do it beforehand. I really do overall love the way that these pages came out. I think the orange again is perfect for the summer and it's fun with the blue and the hot pink added in. I hope you all enjoyed this plan with me. I loved putting this together and as always everyone please be safe. Bye-bye.